everybody, welcome back. It is Tutorial Tuesday, time for another free balloon animal tutorial. I'm Holly Nicole George, the Twister Sister, coach and mentor to new balloon artists, here to teach you the art and craft of balloon twisting. So you could maybe start your own little balloon business and get paid to party. Okay, so this week we are doing a really cute little bear. I'm loving kind of going back to some very basic designs, but stepping them up just a little bit so they're a little more special, something that you'd be proud to give people at your events. So this week we are going back to a teddy bear and we're gonna need two balloons for this guy. I've got a 260 here, I've inflated with about a three to four inch tail and a 360 white, which I just inflated about halfway. You don't have to be too specific on that one. Now on the white, we're gonna start off with this guy and we're just gonna start off with a bubble. You don't want this bubble to be too big because this is gonna be the bear's snout and you don't want those to be too long. And then we're gonna go behind that. We're gonna do just a round bubble and turn this guy into a pinch twist. You're just gonna get your fingers right around that bubble and twist it around itself and you've got your little pinch twist. Okay, I'm gonna put that off to the side for a second and grab your purple or whatever color you're doing. <laughs> and we're gonna start off this one with two pinch twists right at the very beginning. So there's one and two. Now, if this seems like fun and you're brand new here, make sure to pop that subscribe button so you get notified every time I put out a new video every week for Tutorial Tuesday. Now that we've got our two pinch twist, we are gonna come up and we're gonna do kind of the standard bear head. So we're gonna come up about two to three inches, then I'm gonna do a larger, like a full one inch bubble and make that into a pinch twist or an ear twist in this case. And then we're gonna come across maybe about an inch and a half, do another ear, so a nice big full bubble pinch twist. Okay, so we've got our little ears coming along just like that, and now we're going to grab our white 360, and we're just gonna place it in here so that the pinch twist is in the back, and there's little snouts in the front. And I'm gonna twist off my purple first to make sure that it is the same size as this bubble over here. And then we're gonna grab those pinch twists and just twist everything together. So you should have something just like this. How super cute is that? Now we're gonna come down on the white in the back. I've squeezed it a little bit, make it a little bit softer, and just do a little spacer bubble and then twist down into our double pinch twist at the bottom here. Okay, so you should have something like this really coming together now. We're just gonna finish off his body. We're gonna do a nice simple bear body, which is going to be about a two to three inch bubble on the white. And then another one the same size. And we're gonna bring them together and twist them both into the neck. Once you've got that, you are done with the white and we can go ahead and get rid of the rest of that. Dun, dun, dun. And now we're gonna do really simple for the arms and legs. Just gonna be about two to three inch bubbles and we're gonna do that four times. I'm trying to get them the same size or close to it so that he looks even. All right, we've got one, two, three, four little sausage links there. We're gonna bring them all the way around his body and back up into the neck. Once you've got it all put together, we're gonna get rid of the rest of this. And what have we got there? The cutest little bear ever. And he's so super simple and fast. Now for the artwork on this, I did experiment just a little bit on 
adding some balloon eyes with like a five inch round on the top here and it was a little scary. So I'm gonna stick with drawing the eyes on for this guy instead of adding in um, some eyes like we did for the pig, which I'll link here. So you can go check out that pig video, it's really cute. And it's kind of like a back to basics pig, but stepped up just a notch. So that's how I do the artwork on this guy. Just keep it simple and really cute. Um, and then I'm going to add a white paint pen for the little highlight marks on his eyes which I love. If you guys like this style, you've got to go check out Keith Brinker's channel. He does the cutest balloon tutorials and you'll love them. Okay, so how I'm gonna do the little whites on the eyes and that just really finishes off this design and makes it so super cute. This is perfect for a line work situation where you're moving fast or if anyone tries to stump you with a bear request, you'd be like, hold on, I got you. <laughs> now, if you like stuff like this and you think that maybe you want to start doing this more professionally or maybe start doing more work as a balloon artist, I've got a bunch of free resources available to help you get started or grow your business those are available in the description just look for the my free resources for balloon artists I've got two downloads that you can go ahead and snag I've got a bunch of tips and tricks and resources that you can use to help you get going now one other thing I wanted to show you on this bear really gonna step it up another notch here and this is such an easy way to elevate any design is to grab a six petal flower and I'll post a link in the description as well for where you can learn how to make these really quickly and I've just un like deflated the rest of the balloon here and we're going to attach the bear on top of our six petal flower and this changes the whole design in a way because before it was just something that you would have to hold on to couldn't really sit up on a table or anything it was probably going to get dropped in the grass or onto the sidewalk and pop right away um, but once you add the six petal flower base now this can be so many different things obviously a cute little centerpiece it can stand up on a table on its own so that's perfect for restaurant work you could attach a balloon stick in here now so that he could be on a stick and they can hold on to that um, you got your little tail here you can use that to attach it to a headband you could turn this into a bracelet so many things so definitely if you're new to balloon twisting master these six petal flower bases because you can use them for so many things <laughs> Again, the link is in the description where I learned how to make these and then I'll see if I can add it in a card so you can just click on over and learn that really quickly and then come back here and learn some other balloon animals that you can add onto your flower petal bases. These are also great if you want to make candy cups. So, so many uses and that really changes this whole design and makes it something that I would be proud to give any of my customers even if I'm doing like crazy stuff for everybody else and then somebody just wants a simple bear this is elegant and nice and cute and so I think anybody would be happy to receive this all right if you guys like this little teddy bear give this video a thumbs up to show them some love and again if you want to see more balloon related tutorials like this make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and ring that bell so you get notified every week when I put out a new tutorial. I'd love to see pictures of the bears you guys make this week. You can try them in all different colors. You can make a rainbow of teddy bears, line them all up, take a picture. I'd love to see anything you do with this design this week over my Facebook group. I've got a special place there, an album where you can put all of your bear pictures so we can all see everybody's work and get inspired and motivated by each other. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you over in in the next video. Happy twisting!